Let's go. Come on. Yeah! Hey guys, I'm down in Southampton today at the Barbell Division, which was Aaron Page's gym. We've got his log up here and the, the image of Aaron. Aaron was one of the best log lifters in the country, real good friend of mine, really excited to train here today. Dan's invited us down. We've got the Aaron Page tribute wall over here. Liz will let you guys take a look at that. Aaron was one of the, the best up and coming strong men in the country. Sadly passed away last year. He's a very, very good friend of mine but I'm so excited to be training in his gym. Uh, the atmosphere from the guys down here is amazing. They've got some brilliant kit, and I'm sure Aaron's gonna be looking over us and helping us with an awesome session today. Jack's going to do something pretty good today, hopefully. I'm going to try 150 next. If that feels alright, I'll go a little bit more, and that'll be the most I've done on a log in well over two years, so we'll, we'll take that for today. Look at his face. <laughs> I'm trying not to find pleasure in this, but it's fucking hard. From that, I, I'm sort of struggling to get my head through, yeah. and we need to make sure we're working that mobility. Because you, you've got worse recently at that. Yeah. I found doing a lot of rear delts really helps as well. Definitely. Just banded face balls and things like that before my pressing session. I haven't done it today, but um, normally banded face balls. Your warm ups. Yeah. yeah. I, I tend to put a lot of it into your training, just because you've got the rotator cuff issues and. Uh, like you said, naturally. Our front delts get more Everything you do pressing wise delts, is yeah. front delts. The rear delts get neglected all the time. Yeah. I was, I'm happy with that. It's not perfect, there's things that can improve. But it's the most I've done in a long time. 
done my best at Worlds, I did six reps with that. Have a bit of fun, do the double overhand axle and see what we can get up to. I can't wait to see what we can do. Look at the size of his hands, they're massive. <laughs> right, Chloe, your turn. It's, a, it's an 11 kilo bar. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don't just rely 
root power. That's why I think my own best event because I'm just better. Not stronger, better. And that's what you've got kind of just got to get into your head. Came away from me, didn't it? Ready? Go on, Nick. Go on, Nick. Keep going, mate. So they've got 160 and then they jump to a 180, uh, sorry 200, it's a bit of a jump at the moment. I, I'm going to see how some singles feel, I may potentially try the 200 just to see how it feels, but the goal is to do a decent run up to, the goal was 180 but we'll do the 160. Remembered my sleeves. Okay. <laughs> if training stones a lot it's a good idea to use sleeves just so you don't mess your forearms up too much. I know some people like to do it with their skin. The problem for me, if I do it with the skin all the time, my little soft, girly forearms just get cut up real bad. So I like to wear these to make sure I can train them a little bit more often when I have them in a comp. You're exceptionally hairy as well, aren't you? I need to defuzz, really, don't I? Uh, there you go, video. Yeah. It is waxing me. Who wants think, to see that? I don't think you want an all over body wax. <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> Nobody needs that. Alright guys, that's our session done down at the Barbell Division, had a really good session. Uh, Jack is two weeks away from competing in the UK Strongest Man, which is a huge step up in standard for him. Obviously won the UK Juniors a few weeks ago. You looking forward to that? Yeah, it's going to be some good experience. I feel like there's a few good events in there for me. It's just main focus trying to get to the final. And you're competing against some of the guys that have been competing at World Strongest Man, so it's, um, it's, a, it's a great opportunity to mix it with them. You know what you're capable of when you're good events. Uh, two more weeks of training. Yep. Pretty tough week left and then just all about recovery for you. Nick has England's strongest man in July. Yeah, seven weeks tomorrow, Fit Expo, July the 4th, looking forward to it. Back in Peking after just over a year, so it's going to be good, mate. Be competitive. Yeah, well, That's you've made aim. some good progress over the last year. And obviously, I'm 10 weeks away now from the Royal Albert Hall. Deload week this week, uh, just to try and make sure I recover. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel. We'll be back with more strength action soon.